What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another amazing episode of our Pokemon Fire Red randomized Nuzlocke. I am super excited because today we are actually going to head towards Cinnabar Island, hopefully, hopefully picking up potentially a legendary Pokemon in that process, but we will talk about that as we go through the episode. Really quick, I just wanna to, to plug another video very, very quickly. Time Spiral Remastered officially dropped. I did go ahead and open up two boxes sponsored by our good friends over at Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. A little local game store for us. They have been very, very kind to us over the years, uh, and this is no exception. They've helped us out do the, to do this episode. Uh, I do encourage you guys to go check that video out. It is up on the channel. Um, and honestly, I'm loving Time Spiral Remastered. I know it's not Pokemon content. If you're here for that, we'll jump into it in a second, but Time Spiral Remastered, amazing. Lots of good stuff there. Lots of great pulls to be had in that video, so please do check that out. Now, Let's do a quick team recap. So we did fight Koga and get Surf at the end of the last episode. We've got George here sitting at level 52. Uh, let me let me actually run over here. We've got Thunder, Double Kick, Pin Missile, and Quick Attack. We have Panda with Reversal, Hidden Power Dragon, Psychic, and Brick Break. We have got Church, the newest member of our team, with Thrash, Sandstorm, Crunch, and Rock Slide. We have got Parish sitting at level 54 with Knockoff, Shadow Ball, Faint Attack, and Nightshade. We got Tommy, our Ludi Colo, recently taught Surf with Bullet Seed, Fake Out, and Thief as well. And then we have, last but not least, Crimson with Overheat, Cut, Flame Wheel, and Swift. Got to do a couple things before we can set off on our major surfing journey uh, all the way down to Cinnabar Island. First and foremost, we have to pick up uh, the, the HM for Strength. That is going to be very important uh, as we go through the, uh, the Seafoam Islands. Uh, and hopefully we can actually pick up a legendary Pokemon. I think if we do, that's probably where we end up ending today's episode, but we will see. Oh yeah, duh. Have to teach it to a Pokemon. I'm used to, uh, not having to do that in the most recent of games. Uh, let's, let's see. Who can learn strength? Um, it might be a panda move. We can get rid of reversal since we've already got Brick Break on there, uh, and just give a little extra typing. Uh, to the to the whole fiasco. Uh, thankfully, um, or I should say not thankfully, Crimson already knows uh, Cut, so we really don't want to worry too much about that. All right, push this aside. Let's pick up this item. Yeah, all right. Uh, and it's a Moonstone. That's a little unexciting. Uh, we do have a couple of encounters that we can just like immediately get as well, uh, if we would like to. This guy gives us the good rod. Do we really want the good rod? I don't think so. Uh, let's quickly take a peek. Uh, somebody did let me know, and I do appreciate it. Wow, okay, let's get some Pokeballs first. Uh, somebody did let me know that we do have, uh, since Faint Attack does all but one damage, I believe, it's basically the dark type of, or the dark type equivalent of, uh, of False Swipe. I can't remember where the Mart is. I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. It's up here. Uh, we can... Basically use Faint Attack to hopefully get stuff down in HP, and then hopefully take stuff out that way. So, we will plan to do that. Uh, but first and foremost, we do need to buy a couple of balls here. Let's get... To finish us through this, potentially just through this LP, let's get 25. That seems like an awful lot, but should put us in pretty good shape here. Let's get a couple of full heals as well. Uh, I did use some uh, in previous training. Uh, just to save some time, uh, but those are always helpful to have. And then there's this encounter just in the city, because we technically haven't gotten one in Fuchsia City at this point. There's the route that we're going to be taking, but then there's also a route to our left that we get an encounter on. Uh, so we're starting off with a lot of encounters. Uh, let's first of all get Parish out here uh, and hope that this works, because I'll be honest and say I don't know. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> I also don't have my normal lights on, but it's kind of working. Uh, we don't have to worry about them blowing out the background. A toga tick. Uh, that's interesting. I mean, I'll happily take it. Um, I really like toga tick, actually. It's kind of a cool Pokemon. I mean, I don't plan on using it right away, but I do like it. It's gonna wish. That's a bit frustrating. Uh, but let's try an Ultra Ball really quick. We're gonna save that Master Ball because, again, 
We do have a potential legendary uh, this episode, which I'm so stoked about. I'm so stoked about. I'm honestly just really happy. First of all, we got Togetic, which leads me to remember that I never have the comment section up and ready to go. So let's do that really quickly. Uh, oh, yes. Perfect. Perfect. Um, so Kunai Reaper asked if we can name a Pokemon Kiwi. Uh, and yes, this is Kiwi. This has to be Kiwi. Uh, it kind of, yeah, if it was brown, it would look like a Kiwi fruit. I don't know. I think it does. It, it could. Um, so we got Kiwi. I like it. I actually really like that name. That's a funny name. Uh, okay. So let's go over here. Let's find another encounter. We're going to try and avoid the trainers here, uh, just because we really don't need to fight them for any reason. So if we just do one of these, let's see what we get. A Delcaddy. I don't really like Delcaddy that much, I'll be honest. Um, not my favorite, but it is a Pokemon that we get to use. So let's faint attack uh, and see what this does. Uh, okay, somebody lied to me and told me that that wasn't going to kill. Uh, and here we are, but that's okay. Uh, who freaking told me, man? I'm so mad. No, I'm not. It doesn't matter. I didn't really want Delcaddy anyway. Uh, oops. Okay, yes, we do have to go around here. And we can start on our journey to Seafoam Island. I really hope uh, we can we can get through to the Legendary Encounter this episode. That would be amazing. I'm trying to save time because there are a lot of trainers on the way here. So we're going to do the best we can to kind of avoid at least some of them. Uh... I also do have a little bit of a walkthrough up for Seafoam Islands because, I'll be honest, I will get lost <laughs> uh, 100%. So, uh, we're going to do the best we can to make that not happen. Uh, but it will be taking me through, I'm sure, to get me items and things like that. So, we will see, we will see. Uh, look at that. Parish taking out Meganium. I like it. Didn't even have to swap a Clay Doll. Uh, I'm going to swap into Tommy. I believe Surf should one-shot this, no problem. Uh, and level 35 is pretty low, so we're doing okay in terms of levels. I thought we were going to be a little low still when we fought Koga. Uh, turns out we were kind of right on par for what we needed. Excuse me. So, I'm actually feeling pretty good about our... Uh, I'm just going to stay in. We're just going to... Uh, we'll just bullet seed it and hope that's enough. Um, it's not super effective because of that poison typing, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, last episode was surprisingly smooth. Relatively calm gym battle. Uh, I'm really kind of hoping for that for the rest of this LP, uh, because what I'd really love to be able to do is get to the Elite Four without having to worry. Uh, and you know what? If we lose in the Elite Four, we lose in the Elite Four. But... Uh, it would be a really, really awesome thing to be able to say we got there. So, uh, at the very least, I want to make it to that piece. Um, regardless, though, I'm honestly just excited to have a full Pokemon uh, randomizer up on our channel. Um, it's really fun to do just different kinds of content. I know it's very different from our norm. A Flaffy. Uh, is this technically our encounter? This is technically our encounter. Uh... Whoops. Well, I really do like Flaffy, but I can't damage it, so... Because somebody lied to me. Um, that's never going to work. I, I say that. It might work, but it's very rare. Uh, an Ampharos would be kind of sweet. I'm not going to lie. Um, oh, and I know exactly what to name this. If we catch it. Which is important. It can't touch Perish. So we could just Ultra Ball all day. <laughs> um, oh, guys, I'm really excited because Cinnabar Island is going to be really fun, too. We've got two fossils, uh, which is really awesome because that's two free encounters, essentially. We've also just got the city itself. Uh, obviously, we're going to do a lot of that in the, the next episode, not this one. You know what? Because this is level five and I, I feel bad, I can't kill it. It's level 5, guys. I feel bad. Alright, we just didn't have to fight any of these people. Oh, this is a new route. Okay, well. 
What do we get now? An executor. Also level five. <laughs> okay. We're never gonna try and catch this. Uh, we're gonna throw three. We're gonna throw three only. I am not overdoing this. We bought 25 and here we are. <laughs> Hypnosis. Stayed awake thanks to insomnia. Look at that. Paris just coming through. I love it. Um, yep. I told you. We're never gonna catch this thing. We're never gonna catch this thing. Uh, we'll try it. We will try it. Um, I'm also looking for other comments. Okay, that was our third. We're not doing it again. We are not throwing another Pokeball. I don't want a level five Pokemon right now. Anyway, it's fine. We have much better options in the box. I mean, I do really like Executor, don't get me wrong, but... All right, we gotta fight at least one person, so let's <laughs> let's fight a couple people here. Um, I do plan, I usually try and come back and like finish out all these trainers uh, off camera, just to give it, you know, just to keep ourselves kind of honest. Um, although on this particular instance, I may not have to, uh, and it's kind of a pain because we don't have a flyer so we can't just fly back and forth to the cities that we would like, um, which would be very helpful. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, but we just don't have one. Um, I guess Togetic could learn it. Excuse me, Kiwi. Uh, I think Kiwi learns fly. I just love that name. Kiwi is a delight. That's a funny name. Uh, let's flame wheel this thing. Should get it out of here in one hit. No problem. No problem at all. Look at that. Our team is pretty solid, guys. Um, I'm very, very happy with our team at this point. Uh, let's go into George. If Thunder misses, we saw how bad that can be. Um, but if it doesn't, then it's just a guaranteed Oko, right? Like, there's no way. Look at that. George coming through. I really like George. It, I just wish it had Thunderbolt instead of Thunder. Um, but it had no stab moves uh, when I got it, so... Uh, level 53, still nothing. We'll look up the learn set for, uh, for George here at some point, but I'm really happy to have George on the team. All right, and we're already at Seafoam Island. Uh, are you a trainer? No. Okay, well, lovely. Uh, all right, so. Wait, really quick. I'm gonna go out. We're gonna go back out. I'm just gonna see. So it's still Route 20, okay. Just seeing if there was anything over there. All right, so like I said, I do have a walkthrough pulled up. If you see me looking down here, that is why. Uh, it's solely because I can't remember anything and so I feel the need to, to do this. All right, so we do need to use strength. We do get an encounter in here as well. And this is it, a Polyrath. <clears throat> now hold on, <laughs> uh, that's actually quite good. Um, Let's check something really quick. Uh, because I don't know, this is what I should have done a long time ago. Um, the user draws up close to the foe disarmingly, then hits without fail. Good, uh, so knockoff is gonna deal less damage, so let's use knockoff. Because uh, I would like to catch, oh wow, that did literal nothing. Um, and it had a bright powder. That's helpful. Uh, thankfully, this isn't going to be able to hit very easily. We have Nightshade. What am I doing? Why am I an idiot? <laughs> we have Nightshade. All right. Yeah, water gummy. Do it. All right. I'm so stupid. Oh, why didn't I just Nightshade? How easy was that? Um, yeah, water gummy. Do it. Let's Ultra Ball. If this doesn't work, we can probably knock off one more time and get it into the red. Uh, I do want to catch this. And look at that, we do. Wow, that was really great. Um, all right, now I need to find a name. Who is going to be our Polyrath? Which I will say if any, and I'm jinxing myself so hard here, but uh, if, if a Pokemon dies, I am very happy to trade this in. Um, because honestly, this is just such a cool Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. 
All the way back to episode two, we got Duck King. Uh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna name this Duck. <laughs> well, you know how there's sock and then there's throw? Uh, this is Duck. <laughs> I think that's way funnier than it is. Oh. <laughs> that's so stupid. Oh, my head is a great place. All right. <laughs> Let's go here. Oh man, we're, we really should have bought repels. That was kind of dumb. Whoa, there were combustion in here. Uh, that would have been a great mod, but we really don't need it. Um, I will say uh, the water typing is very, very nice on... Uh, the water and fighting type is very nice, I think, on specifically duck. <laughs> Just makes me so happy. All right, uh, we're just gonna run. We're not we're not fighting stuff today. We're here for a very specific reason. I think you all know what that reason is. I should let everybody know though. Uh, the okay, hold on. Walk past the first ladder, drop down the second boulder, and then backtrack to the first ladder. Okay. Um, I should let everybody know. Uh, the random the static encounter. Wow, There's a lot of starter Pokemon. Um. The static encounters are all randomized as well. I think I've seen we've seen that before with Snorlax and stuff like that. But um, crucially, uh, a Ninjask. Um, crucially, uh, the static encounters that are legendary are randomized to other legendary Pokemon, uh, and so I have no idea what it's gonna be. Um, all right, so climb down the ladder in the northwest. All right, so let's do this. I do want to make sure we get Articuno, or the encounter, I should say. That might be a switchable moment for one of our Pokemon. We will see uh, what that Pokemon ends up being. All right, uh, go northeast to the other platform. Where are we in this? Oh, I see. All right. Uh, pick up the revive and put the boulder down the hole again. Okay. Yo, I really like Shiftry, actually. Sorry if I'm reading a lot, guys, but I do just want to make sure I'm not wasting too much time uh, for everybody. An elixir. Lovely. All right. So, we got to push this down this hole. Uh, once it falls, return to the first floor and climb down the northeast ladder. Okay, so we do have to go back up to the first hole, but that's fine. It's totally fine. All right. Uh, this does give us, I, from my understanding, this walkthrough will keep us, like, all the items will be there for us, and we should get straight to Articuno, which is great. Once we do that, we'll save, and we'll end the episode, and then, uh, next episode we'll make it all the way to Cinnabar. Probably do just a couple of things while we're there, get our encounters, uh, probably get our, um, excuse me, our fossils as well, uh, because why not? We absolutely should. And then that way, we are all set up for the following episode to be Blaine, who I have not looked at levels, uh, but I'm very worried about, <laughs> um, because that's very scary. All right, uh, let's see. Same boulder, yeah, we'll push this down. Okay. Uh, same boulder, drop it down the next hole. Once it falls through, return to the first floor and climb down the northeast ladder. Shove the boulder through the hole and drop down after it twice. Okay. Uh, with the two boulders in place. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, we didn't... Huh. Oh, well, there's Pokemon. Alright. And it's a Hopip! Oh. Hopip's adorable. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we have to go back up. It oh, no, we dropped down twice, don't we? But this is gonna just take us... Yeah, I was gonna say, this just takes us here. That didn't work the way I thought it would work. It's fine, everything's fine. There's Gengar? Yo, let's knock off really quick. Just see. Does it have any item? Oh, it did! A Mystic Water! Holy crap, that's pretty good! Um, alright, we'll, we'll just- oh, we can't escape? No. Sad day. Alright, well, I mean, we're just gonna kill it. 
All right. So let's figure out exactly. This is gonna take us. That's funny. So we do need to get. Uh, we didn't get the other boulder all the way down, um, which is funny because it didn't give me the heads up to. Which is fine. Uh, let's go down here because I'm terrible at following directions at this point. Um, I have to find where we go. We'll get there. Yes, I know. Stop finding stuff, please. Um, can we actually get Articuno here? Okay, no. I was about to say, because it's like right up there. Um, all right. Absol is here. That's fine. We don't care about you. Get out of here. Let's... We gotta get that other boulder pushed down. Once we do that, we should be in good shape. Whoa, there's a lot of boulders. Okay. A lick -a tongue. How fun. Um... This map sucks, P.S. Uh, alright. <laughs> I'm trying very hard to see where... Okay, that's where we are at. So that's basement 4 th 3... So this is, yeah, we don't want to go there. I'm very good at this game. Dude, there are so many good starter Pokemon in here. Uh, wow. I mean, if we were actually looking for better encounters, that'd be awesome. Stop finding stuff. Repels. Repels would have done wonders, but here we are. All right. We can do this. We can do this. Uh... I have no idea which boulder. These don't do it, from my understanding. We don't want to go down these holes. We want to need. We need to get back to basement floor two, but the top side of it. So we do need to go up a ladder. Does that ladder take us up? Yeah, it would. I'm walking in circles. It's fine. Um, all right, we are gonna go up this ladder. That should take us back up to floor two, hopefully. We can just not find too many Pokemon, just to save some time, please. All right, it's fine. This should take us back up to floor two and then hopefully move that other boulder down and then we can just kind of fall through the holes, I think, um, to get where we need to go. And we should be good. I have faith. All right, let's go up. Where are we at? Uh, nope, not where we needed. So we still have to go, we have to go back up one more and then come back down. There's an item there. I can't in good faith not get the item. I'm sorry. I have to get the item. <laughs> and I don't know which ladder we have to go up. This is my life. I've resigned this. Hey, it's shady. Uh, if only. I would 100% use a deli bird in this. Uh, Alright, it may have been that ladder that we're going up, but because I have a strong urge to go up this other ladder, we're going to do that instead. No real reason. Just felt like it. Am I correct? Okay, C5 Islands. This is this top one. So I think this is correct. I think. I hope. All right. I really hope this is correct. My ingenuity as a Pokemon master uh, is not in the way of smashing boulders in the right direction. All right. Yes, we did it. We did it. That's all we needed. We're going to follow this one down. Okay, so where are we at right now? Because I'm very good at following directions. What is this? Oh yeah, this is that weird little like, there's nothing here, but that's kind of cool. All right, so we are, we're gonna get there. Um, we have to go this way, we don't have to. In fact, I don't think we want to. No. 
We need to go the other way. I'm so lost. I am sorry, guys. I'm gonna be lost for a while. It's fine. Everything is fine. I swear we're gonna find our way out of here. It's gonna be great. I promise. I promise. All right, uh... All right, does this tell us how to get the freaking crap out of here, too? Because that's going to be helpful. All right. It's not down there. It's over here. Yes, I see you, Apom. You're hilarious. You're hilarious. You're just great. All right, so. George! For anybody who is just not watching and I just yelled George in your ear, you're welcome. All right, up. Right? No, this isn't, this is, this is wrong. Why do I suck at this? <laughs> All right, it's fine. Everything is fine. Oh, oh no, hold on. Hold on, it's fine. Everything's fine. Guys, you're gonna love laughing at me in this episode, and I'm happy to provide that service for you. This way. Yes! What? Making it possible to surf, climb out of the water, and head to the northeast corner of the group of boulders. Oh god, I have to still do- I still have to do all these. This is gonna take so dang long. I almost said words that I shouldn't say on a Pokemon LP. All right, let's get these boulders in their holders. That's a fun thing to say. All right. So tired of Pokemon. Specifically just finding Pokemon. Like, I just don't wanna find Pokemon anymore. All right. Okay. This one's an easy one. We just push it down the hole. The other one's a bit trickier, but it's fine. We can do this. All right. No. Yes, do it. Do it. Let's move to the right boulder. Okay, and then it's gonna just say jump in the hole behind it. I can do that. I can jump in a hole. Oh gosh, it just got dark. Hold on. I'm out. Better. All right. Sorry, it's like supposed to be stormy today and it just wasn't. It was just like kind of windy, so. All right, so let's think. It's important to think in these scenarios. <laughs> Go away, Ghastly. All right. So that one we can't push. I'm thinking, guys, I am a genius. Look at this. I am a genius. No one can stop me. All right. Wow, now my head looks funny. All right. Finally! <laughs> okay, hold on. This is bothering the mess out of me. I should darken it up. Nope, it's fine. All right. Guys, we're doing this. And we just are masterballing it unless it's something just silly. Yes! <laughs> yes! Guys, it's my favorite. It's my favorite. Well. Uh, it can just whirlwind, right? We're masterballing it. Done. Easy. Easy. We only had to waste an entire episode rummaging through a cave to get here. But it was worth it. We got freaking Lugia. Now, somebody did say I could name Lugia after myself, but I don't love that idea. Uh, part of me kind of wants to,
because I did say at the very beginning of the LP that like if I got a Lugia, I feel like I have to use it because it's one of my f it's between a very good friend of mine and myself. This is our favorite legendary Pokemon. Um, so you know what? I'm doing it. I'm gonna be the most vain Pokemon player in the world. And we're, we got ourselves a Lugia. What? All right. Guys, that was a fun one. All right, so... <laughs> obviously, we, we did a lot of rummaging through a cave here, but we did get a Lugia. We got to make our way out of here and then head over to Cinnabar Island, which we will be doing in the next episode. Uh, but guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Check out that Time Survival Remastered box opening as well. That was a really, really fun one. Two boxes, excuse me. And guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. I'll see you in the next one.